was a, he was actually kind of a plus of a journalist, more like an entertainment type. And Hi, everybody. This is Lounge Academy. Oh, okay. Oh, AIG. But these interviews may apologize for the seem more serious, more important. Than the interruption? We have a little. I don't think of him as some kind of journalist, but really he was just a little oh, transmitting right. interruption there, but we got so that, that going. Hopefully, some of these um, technical issues won't uh, cause too many interruptions. Uh, the was the head of the BBC. And you can see over my shoulders, after, after David Lanides, he's discussing show business with yes. Craig Marion Guns Golden. We're all very familiar with. This is one town where the critics and the artists can get together and, and fraternize. Because it's Buffalo. Way generals <laughs> sometimes could cross the line after the after everyone punched out and they'd have a few drinks in the tent and go back and fight some more. Yeah. But there's not a lot of acrimony in Buffalo. Arts. No, you don't. Is there? I don't know. Or is there? Tell us about it, Dave Lundy. Ecker? No, I don't think there's a lot. It's unavoidable to <laughs> have no, I some, I suppose, in the theater of operation. Some, you know. Um, it doesn't attract people who uh, are very stable. You find, you find that. So there are always going to be problems, I suppose. Our creative people are creative people are tend to dynamic. Be, yeah. Well, they say, you know, genius and insanity is it's a thin, a thin barrier. They said something like that. Those are, the, those are the kids you want to hang with, whoever they are. Yeah. And judgmental dipshits. <laughs> well, how often are they right, though? I suppose you have to ask them. Are them the same as they? Is that the same group? Well, who knows what they'd say, because you know what they say. And are they the same as they and them? Or are they actually competing for the most influential? You think there might be three groups? They, they, and them? You know, I think there's, there's competition at every level of <laughs> the universe. Yeah. There'd have to be, otherwise there'd be no friction. Which is what holds us together. The friction holds us together. Yeah, I guess it does, yeah. Without friction, there's no adhesion. Can you hear the conversation over the piano, ladies and gentlemen? Is they all burning? Is it my song? 
Conversation around the so that the home audience can join in in the in this, these interesting ideas that are being thrown around. This is the mic for you guys right here. Oh, but 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 it, the PA it does pick up the PA so. goes to the same cause. It's funny when, uh, because of the time delay, Howard is actually out of the room and I'm seeing him on camera. So it, it seems strange like he's here and he's not here. Yeah, is that I, something? I'm just saying because of the delay. No, I'm here. Because of the and I'm not here. I was looking at the, at the viewer and, and seeing your face, but you weren't in the room. So yeah. the screen on the right shows what's coming through Facebook that. Yes. The world is seeing. Yes. It's a little smaller. It's a little harder to see. I guess you knew that. I just always assume that actor day one, he doesn't know anything. <laughs> <laughs> That's safe. So I just, it's just my personality. I just assume nobody knows anything. And I have to explain it. Like they're my cat or something. Actually, my cat's pretty smart. He's a bad example. Yeah, I think even, I think Frank has also. Bing has his pipe. Yeah. 
That's something you don't see now an entertainer coming out on stage with his pipe. You do not see that. No, not on stage. And Dean Martin. <laughs> He's got to something that time in their lives. Crooners. <laughs> Yes, yeah, so we have his pipe ready to go out on stage. I can't remember the last time I saw someone out on stage with a pipe. I don't know if I ever have. I was never, I know there are some people who are going to hate me for this, but I, I never was that into Dean Martin as a singer. I, I a couple of, a couple of his records I liked, but not enough for me to go out and be a big Dean Martin, you know, buy the t shirt. And I wonder if it was more a personality thing where he just fit in. But they say he's the one, he was the one that could uh, stand up to Frank. Oh, he looks like he could. <laughs> Frank wouldn't accept it from anybody but him. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, well, that says something for him. Yeah, Howard Knight, who was the comedian who said, well, with our um, device of climate, they, this was way back in the day, you know? Yeah. <laughs> we have come down and there are only two major parties. <laughs> In the United States, one's at Frank Sinatra's, the other's at Dean Martin's. <laughs> That's a good job. I know who was it who said that. It was obvious, but no one had said it before. It's Frank Gorshin. Oh, oh, Frank Gorshin, yeah, two major parties. <laughs> and he just knew as soon as he said one was at Frank Sinatra, he knew the other one would be at Dean Martin's. <laughs> so I think that probably sums up his appeal. crowd at the moment and just do something experimental and just... Yeah. Oh, go nuts. Yes. I see. I lounge to that out there and the outside there. Yeah. And he's bringing in a cooler. That's Bring always a good a cooler. Did you see lounge cadet Jack Horaho had at my view in the paper the other day? The other day. It was about working in a drugstore. Drugstore. It was cute. Was it a it was cute. It was No, it was about what he learned working in a summer job in Babcock's drugstore. Mr. Babcock was his boss, and I think his son also worked there. Yeah, and um, oh, <laughs> funny observations like Mr. Babcock would sit in the back room smoking because he filled people's prescriptions, smoking nice. his pipe. I believe he smoked a pipe. It was cute. Yeah, it was a cute story. Well, the pipe's a little cleaner. Yeah, I think, I believe that um, Lounge Cadet Jack Warhol wrote that it was a pipe. Funny, he 
you have to do everything like clean, do anything. They just, you know, the way that sounded like a hard job. Oh, I didn't realize I locked it. I locked it. Oh. Yes. 
Sounds corny, seedy, but yes, indeed. Give me the simple, give me the simple, give me the simple, me the simple life. Somewhere. Oh, in Florida? Somewhere? It's a summer thing. No, it's in Angola. Oh. Yeah, not far, but he's kind of um, cloistered there. Is he a wintertime friend? Um, well, we see him, we do see him more in the wintertime. Mm -hmm. Did he go to Florida last year? I can't he remember. He did, though. Mm -hmm. He keeps, you know, he yeah, keeps he his attendance. And it's wonderful that he can now check in during our live yeah, telecast. Yeah. I know. You know. That's why you forget if somebody was here or if they were just virtually. part of the show oh, virtually. Yeah, <laughs> Nobody's out there right now. Unless there's stuff. I don't know all the ins and outs. Murray could cry. the 
Uh, we'll have to find it. It's in one of the books. Yeah, maybe not to find it right now. How about this one? This is the favorite one we used to do. Together. The days. The days of wine. And roses. Left and run away. Like a child at play. A door marked nevermore oh, okay. that wasn't there before. Oh, only night discloses just a passing breeze filled with memories. Somewhere like that, just by myself. It's just a special time. You just come on that bike by yourself. 
Mom Academy, things saying. you can learn here at Mom Academy. I always remember sitting in the introduction. The reason why I keep play introduction is because they were saying. Yeah, it's an introduction. It's so they can practice the song. That's how they do it. Country dance would be <laughs> held in a garden. I felt a bump and murder. Oh, beg your pardon. Suddenly I saw polka dots and moonbeams all around a pub. I held my breath and said, May I have the next one? In my frightened arms, polka dots and beans sparkled on a pug nose tree. There were questions in the eyes of other dancers as we floated over the floor. There were questions. My heart knew all the answers, and perhaps a few things. Built of lilacs and laughter. It's laughter. I know the meaning of the words ever after. And I'll always see polka dots and moonbeams when I kiss a pug nose. Thank 
believe. Love is cheerful. I think that was or like it's gay. It's a problem. Or it's play. I know. It was like showboat because it seems like it's half operatic. It's kind of on that. Uh, it's kind of almost, you can see it almost in the 19th century. It's a little more flowery than you get. You know, people know it. They get their eyes. It just seems so hard to like, you can imagine being by Victor Herbert almost, but it's not.
is the easy reader voice. Three little bats. I gotta look that up now. Which bothered him the most? Yeah, that's a good one. 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 Yeah. 
didn't go over bed. So he still was too big, right? Thank you, Joe. Thank you. Feel free to comment, people. Let us know that. Let us know that you're lounging and you have any comments for the lounge cadets, and they'll have something for you. We all know each other. You know where everything is. Where it's on the Andrex Wife Dory Trevin wrote about the affair. Taking her husband away for calling me where young girls. Uh, <laughs> Let us know you care. Which brings us to this song. It's called Who Cares. It's great being at the piano with Mari after Dave Lundy and Mary Kunz Goldman. I thought I was McNeil. Oh, did I slip and give away your first name? You did. I did that twice tonight. We got a little screen lock up on this one here. We'll fix that for you, ladies and gentlemen. Right. Excuse the temporary blackout. We want you to have the best, best image available. Oh boy, the door. Sounds like another lounge cadet might be another walk on guest. Wow, this is very nice. We got looks like looks like Rosie's here. How are you? Show business dog Rosie, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, look at her. She got a new outfit on. She's very happy to be here. Mary Kate O'Connell, ladies and gentlemen, joining the lounge cadets at the piano. This Nick's going right after the poodle there. He's an animal lover, that Nick. She's a Nick lover, so. She seems to really be going for Nick. <laughs> You're gonna give her a haircut. She's a cult. Sick him, sick him, Rosie. <laughs> She's biting his nose. She gave him a kiss. <laughs> Nick got a little kiss there. It's a while this, while this has been for Nick. <laughs> Rosie's a sweet little dog. And she's been on the set of Lounge Academy before. Yes, she not her, she's a, this is her first rodeo. This is not her first time around the block. Yes, yeah. How old is she? Five? Well, that's, well, they're cute at that age. <laughs>
can introduce Sigma Grace. Um, I was at a meeting, Shay's first lecture. Um, and Shay was talking sitting on the front step on Donut Tuesday, and they're all sold out with one of these going on. It's pre-order. Sometimes I'm Yeah. <laughs> it was so funny. But so, uh, Rosie couldn't wait to get out of the car. She was just scrambling to get out of the car. Yeah. Oh, tonight? No, to get to when she first met you. Oh, yeah. And Donut Tuesday. And Donut Tuesday. Well, my dog loves Howard, too. Oh, Howard is a natural dog, attractant. Yeah. Attractant? Bait? Mm -hmm. Oh, and doesn't Flapsy love you too? It's the uh, yeah. slice of only in my shoe. I said to, uh, the, uh, I was at a meeting at the TR site because um, we're doing a, a diva there on August 26th to celebrate. That's the day that the 19th of was signed into law. And I said to uh, Stan Hudson, I said, well, you really get how it goes to the Pan Am Donuts. Well, <laughs> 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 in 1901, they're Pan Am Donuts. Oh my gosh. It's all connect. Howard. Well, I appreciate your shilling <laughs> Howard, <laughs> is the, is the lard yes. ingredient, is it a Pan Am thing? Just, yeah, well, back then, that was oh, the only way to all do. they had it. I mean, they didn't have no oil, 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 no oil yeah, or anything. That's right. They had no, water. Frisco came around 1911 or something. Oh, okay. A good 10 years after the Pan Am. Okay, so I told them stinks. My grandmother used to put like that, oh, yes. the lard and the. You know, lard is. She sounds like a, quite a woman. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was Why following your lard conversation with your friends. <laughs> Mary's mother was famous for her for bacon grease. The bacon uh, grease uh, uh, the She's German, you know, you know, you know you know you know Well, the duck fat, that you get so bad. Are they idiots? They don't show the healthy lady. We had a, we had a Folgers can with the duck and bacon grease in it. We oh, yes, do. bacon grease. So, yeah. so do we. Yeah. Underneath the sink. Is where what did we do with it, though? We didn't cook the eggs. Oh, my, my mother used It just was like garbage, right? Yeah, you cook them. Don't cook that yet. No, my mother used to have the dish in the fridge and we'd cook out of it. You know, you'd cook, you'd cook bacon and bacon. It is good. I do it tasty. No, I haven't cooked bacon in a little while, but I had about a month ago and I got this. Where is it going? I'm going to have it. You like to be all on board. No, no, bacon fat, not lard. My mother used to make bacon in the pan and then take the... Getting to be or have a have a living. Oh, yeah. Whether it's Holcomb or not, they're tremendous. Angry. They're very good. Who cares? I think so. I wouldn't go down with this. the sky. Yes, that kind of 
at the sound of your voice. Heaven opens its portals to me. Can I help but rejoice? That a song such as ours came to be. But I always knew I would live life through with a song in my heart for you. Rogers and Harris. Ladies and gentlemen. It's a tough crowd, ladies and gentlemen. Professional actors, singers, all of the above, jugglers. Question. How high the moon? How high is the moon, Dave Wendy?
great songs in that book, and the type is really small. There you go. 238,900. 238, you say hello to Ray Emmerman in Chautauqua. Ray's a lounge cadet, he's in Chautauqua. Nice to see you, sir. It's Ray Emmerman. You can see Ray Emmerman performing every week at the Cloister. Where he's in a show with Electra and Jackie. And that's show business at its finest. Like all fools, I believe what I wanted to believe. So true. My foolish heart can see. What foolish hearts can see? Thought I found a miracle. I thought that you adored me. It was not a miracle. It was merely a miracle for me. I'm 
so well You do something to me Nobody else can do Nobody else can do Wow that's a whole word. That's a whole word. He ended every song. Yeah. 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 Yeah, it's a wonderful song. If we could find it in the, uh, yeah, is it a Sinatra movie? It, it, you know, it might be. I think it's a Sinatra. Yeah, see if. Uh, yeah, I'll show you how this works, Margaret. We're showing her the ropes. New guy, new guy. New guy. Army's been preparing her though for this. <laughs> Here's a song that Mari McNeil made famous. She's welcome to join in. I don't know if it's in her key. Was this a Peggy Farrell song? There's a crooner's one right there that's got a lot of Sinatra stuff. You go to my head and you linger in my brain like the bubbles in a glass of champagne go to my head like a sip of sparkling burgundy brew And I find the very mention of you Like a kicker in the big wazoo It's not really the words The thrill of the thought Do I give a thought To my plan cast a spell over me I say to myself, self, get a hold of yourself. Can you see it never can be? Before my head, with a smile that makes my temperature rise. A summer with a thousand Julys You intoxicate my soul with your eyes Though I'm certain that this heart of mine Hasn't a ghost of a chance in this crazy romance Which nocturne? Harlem. Harlem nocturne? Yeah, if you got it, yeah. Find the music. It's smoky, Harlem. Yeah, I'm familiar with it. Okay. Nice to see you, David and Jane. Out there in Lama. 
Challenge Academy lands. This heart of mine was doing very well. The world was fine as far as I could tell. Suddenly I met you and I dreamed of gay amour. At dawn I woke up singing sentimental overture. This heart of mine is dancing gaily now. I taste the wine of real romancing now. This crazy world is taking on a wonderful as long as life endures it's yours. This heart of mine Gypsy Violet 
Walter Kent on 17, thank you. Did somebody put this in front of me?
I like Nick's style. I think he's marvelous. I can't see so. How can I tell? Deuces to me are all aces. Life is to me just a bore. Faces are all open spaces. You might be John Barrymore. You came along, said. I think you're wonderful. <laughs> yeah, I thought it sounded from here. I think you're grand, but I may be wrong. Is that a nice song? What's it from? It's 1929. Must be from some great show. What's that from? <laughs> Henry Sullivan and Harry Raskin. I've never heard of them. They're crazy. Those crazy guys. I thought it was great. I think they wrote it in prison. I can think. Jim and Tracy for making tonight's Lounge Academy extra special. Thank you for hosting us to, to Marge. Margaret. My mother's name was, was Margaret. She wasn't in the army, though, for as long as you. She did work for the war effort, though. Margaret's got a, for some reason, Margaret's got to meet Lizzie. I just got this feeling that they're going to make it. There's this that they should meet, I just don't know. Maybe they shouldn't meet. It might be more than we can handle. Howard, Howard this song was in Murray Anderson's Almanac. This is a show that ran for 69 performances. Huh? It's a lot of performers. <laughs> <laughs> you see it. Wow. Huh? You know, if, if that song was so good, I wonder what the rest of the show was like. You know what I always want to do is the um, great Broadway turkeys. The songs that they take it out. <laughs> that would be a great show. Yeah, I always want to hear a question about doing that. Because, you know, where was the ticket? Where the ticket? So, what city did they take it out of the show? Yeah, that's right. The songs that got removed yeah. from the show. Of course, everything was removed from Maine. And, and Is that Maine. right? I didn't know that. Because I love that show. Really? Well, she insisted that they didn't look at it. Oh. <laughs> when you're actually where you can look at it. Oh. Yeah. It's a beautiful show. When you do a show, right. you can right. Good night, everybody. Thanks for having everybody. Good night, Marcy. Good night, Marcy. Tonight, Comrades. Nice job tonight. See How about another big round of applause for the Comrades? We have Tom Trick and Margaret Trick. She did a good job for her first time here, right? She did great. She's a show business natural.
got the microphone like crazy in love. I'd say, say I go to fire. I can hear you out of the sea. Oh, no. crazy. Hello, Nate. And 
went to lovers' room. They still say I love you. That you can rely No matter what the future brings As time goes by Moonlight and love songs Never out of date Heart full of passion Jealousy and hate Woman needs man Man must have his mate But no man can die It's still the same old story A fight for love and glory Case of do or die As time goes by. Good job, everybody. Herman Hupfeld.
you're not the same. I'm afraid the masquerade is over. And so is love. So is love. Because hmm? it's over. The masquerade is over. The masquerade is over. Of course, one says, Why the long face? No, reality comes through. Everything else is still going on. Right. The masquerade is over. The masquerade is over. Yeah, but everything else is still going. Except yeah. if you're wearing so it's not so bad. Disney princess costume, then it's still in full gear. The masquerade. Oh, I get it. Yeah. <laughs> Showing up some of our camera angles for the audience. <laughs> What do you guys like out there? Do you like the new split screen? This is the split screen. Let me know. Give us a little feedback. Everyone's so quiet. This is the new crappy cam. This is all the way across the lounge. How's everything going in the booth? The booth is awesome. I, I you know, I don't have the booth cam wired into the, because uh, I had to economize on my camera shots. Because a couple of parts are in for warranty service. Otherwise, I could. All right, we'll go with split screen. I think some people could help me out with this one. I've got a crush on you. Maybe I could feed them lines on the songs they don't know, like Guy does. Yeah, that's a good idea. I've got a crush on you, sweetie pie. Sweetie pie. Sweetie pie. Sweetie pie. All day and all night time. All day and all night time. Hear me sigh. Hear me sigh. I never, I never had the least notion that I could fall. That I could fall. With so much devotion, with so much devotion, could you coo? Could you coo? Could you care? Could you care for Cunning Cottage? For Cunning Cottage, we could share. We could share the world. The world will pardon my mush. Anakana, I got a crush. My baby on you. Good job, everybody. Your mush, your mush, I never shall hush. Anakana, I've got a crush. My baby, you. Good job, everybody. No, that's in there. Yeah, your mush I never shall hush. Shall, no, your mush I never shall sush. Shush. Shush. I think it is Gershwin. Yeah, I think that's Yeah. And you know what? You have the exact right lyrics. Because Ira Gershwin used to write these um, silly songs, probably. And 
wrote, the, wrote these ridiculous lyrics because oh. their publisher wanted three, three sets of lyrics for their shows, oh. for their songs. And he'd write these ridiculous sets. Uh, I mean, Grace for You has a very funny uh, lyric in it, and he just silly songs. You pay me for two. That could account for a lot of these I extra. Yeah, extra know. lyrics that float around in some of these songs. Well, have you seen how many the name uh, lyrics are, are in a whole chorus? <laughs> <board? laughs> <Whoa, laughs> yeah, we spent the weekend. You know, I woke up during the night. Remember? Yeah. Yeah. At one time. <laughs> Good time. 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 Good it's a rhapsody. <laughs> I've got you under my skin. I've got you deep in the heart of me. So deep in my heart, you're really a part of me. I've got you under my skin I've tried so not to give in said to myself self this affair never would go so well why should I try to resist when darling I know so well I've got you under my skin Sacrifice anything, come what might, for the sake of having you near. In spite of the warning voice, come in the night, beats and repeats in my ear. Don't you know, little fool, you never can win me. Use your mentality, wake up to reality. But each time I do, just the thought of you and me stop. But hard again, cause I got you, I've got you, I've got you, subcutaneously. <laughs> you weren't expecting that. I'm going to try to feed you guys some more lyrics. Over here. Over here. Over there. The yanks are coming. Dawning. Sleepy, and yawning. Sleepy and yawning. Sleepy and yawning. Still the taste of wine. You know it. Till the taste, still the You're taste of wine. You've been long enough. <laughs> then I remember your mind. I've got a world that's fine. What's before me? Routines that bore me. Punch the clock at eight. But what a lucky guy I am. I've got a world that's great. Adam bombs. Cape Canaveral and false alarms. Half the universe is up in arms. So I flip a little too until I'm holding you. What's the hassle? Up by the castle, we can live What's like kings. <laughs> if you remember your mind, then I've got a world that you've got a world that we've got a world that swings. I'd like to take.
take you on a wild, wonderful adventure. Fly like a kite from space, no strings. I don't want to lose that bell that rings. Cause I've got a, I've got a world that swings. I've got the world on a string, sitting on a rainbow. Tied the string around my finger. The string reminds me you're mine and that I've got a world that swings. Adam bombs. Yeah, Adam bombs. Half the universe is up in high. So I flip a little too until I'm holding you. What's the hassle? I'll buy the castle. We can live like kings. If you remember your mind then I've got a world that you've got a world that we got a world that swings a world that swings a world that swings It's a lot like simple life is that a Yeah, it's a lot. Like That's from the nutty professor. It was, um, no, it was kind of written that way. That was in a nutty professor? Yeah, Jerry Lewis sang it. Yeah, but I think people have sang it nutty. Okay, here's one you guys can help me out with. Gets too hungry for dinner at eight. I like the theater and never come late. I never bother with those people I hate. That's why the lady is a tramp. She don't like crap games. Girls won't go to Harlem with Thurman and Pearls. Won't dish the dirt with the rest of the girls. That's why the lady is a tramp. Oh, she likes the free, fresh wind in her hair. Life without care. It's California, it's cold and it's damp, that's why the lady is a tramp. out there, buddy. It's nice to have you with us at Lounge Academy. Help me out with this, Mari. It's the April Rose. It's the April Rose. That only grows in the early spring. Love is nature's way of giving reason to be living. Golden crown that makes a man a king. Once on a high the best line. In the morning mist, two lovers kissed and the world stood still. And your fingers touched my silent heart, taught it how to sing. As 
a many splendor thing. I didn't realize we were channeling Doris Day. It's cool, though. Blessed Virgin. Good dog. Get him. Yeah, all right, Rosie. Not because you you like kicked her a couple of times. Nick, I had that that dream, you know, and it, it was I swear it was real. What? The, the dream was so real that when I woke up, I thought I was dreaming. When I woke up, this is an intro to a song. Yeah, so, well, this is a spoken monologue to the song. <laughs> This is what it's like to perform for an all show business audience, ladies yeah. and gentlemen. We'll be giving you the review tomorrow. I had the craziest dream oh, last, last night. Last night. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. I never dreamt it could be. There she was, in love with me. I saw your lips next to mine, so I kissed them. And you didn't mind it at all. When I'm awake, such a break never happens. How long can a guy go on dreaming? If there's a chance that you care, then please, please say you do, my baby. Say it and make mine, make my crazy dreams come true.
What do you guys want to sing with me? I'll, I'll, I'll know it. When, I'll recognize it when you tell me. Thanks, Neil Coker. It's nice having you with us tonight, sir. It's a great song. Did he write that? Well, if you can find it for me, we will do it. I say confidently. <laughs> Each time you're Every near me, the thrill is gone. The sight of you, the more I see you, the more. Don't, don't. 
said yeah. foolishly. Thanks, Neil. Oh, thanks, Neil. Appreciate that. Yeah. Nice to see you, Zigbig. Nice of you to tune in. It's great having you guys at Lounge Academy tonight. If I don't see her each day, I miss her. She what a thrill. To see her that kiss her we meet. I've got a case with a laughing face. She takes the winter, she makes it summer. Some lessons from her. Picture a tomboy in lace. Bill Silvers wrote the lyrics to this, by the way. Bill <laughs> Silvers. Oh, really? Yeah. He wrote it for Sinatra's daughter. Yeah. His wife. Daughter. His wife. Daughter. Oh, it's for Nancy Sinatra. Yeah. Just hear her say, hello. <laughs> I swear to goodness I can't resist her. Here's the line, ladies and gentlemen. Sorry for you. She has no sister. No one could ever replace That's Nancy with the laughing face. That's right, Joseph. It's Mari and MK. All under one on one stage. Joseph, that's a great, that's a great, uh, 
That's a great request. Let's face the music and dance. I'll look. I'm not sure if it's in here. I do need to. I think I believe so. Yes. Yeah. I don't, uh, maybe someone will find it for us. Joseph, if we find it, we'll give it a whirl. Dun, dun, dun. That's a Cole Porter tune. I think it's a Cole Porter tune. Let's face the music and dance. It's very minor mode, sultry. Let's face the music and dance. Yeah, where is that? Now I gotta play it. It's very clear. Our love is here to stay. Thank you, Kathy. Thank you, Nick. Put another big round of applause for Kathy, Kathy Moses. So is this couple. There they go, Nick's. Nick's, uh, where's the uh, prior shot? Nick's leaving Rumi. Well, we missed we miss him walking out. He was, to recount what happened, he was talking to some of the people. Let's face the music and dance. Oh, we got it here. Hang in there, uh, Joseph. Joseph Demerly. Yep, yep. How are you doing, Demerly? He's, he's requesting good songs, Mary Kate O'Connell. Joe, let me know how you like this split screen with four images. It's a new new feature we're featuring tonight. Or if you want another scene, you could you could just request it, whichever. Camera okay. angle you want, sir. What other TV show gives you gives you that option? I don't know which camera to look at. There's so many. We're here with Mary Clinton's Goldman, actor Dave Wundy, Mary Kate O'Connell, and McNeil. It's the part of night. The part of the night I really like, where we're, you know, the big parties quieted down, and there's a few of us relaxing around the piano, and just the after hours club feel. He was prolific. Uh, and they didn't have a cure for it back then. <laughs> <laughs> now they have rats. No, beginning to see the light. Oh. Yeah. I thought that was like a Introductions are for it so you can learn the music. <laughs> Something we learn at Mountain Academy. Oh, this is Irving Berlin wrote this. Oh. Oh. Boy, that's an interesting song for Irving Berlin. It's really haunting. Wonder what inspired this harmony. It's amazing. Something did.
There may be trouble ahead But while there's moonlight And music And love Romance Let's face the music And dance Before the fiddlers have fled Before they ask to pay the bills Let's face the music Keep that in the rotation so I can maybe take a little work on that one. Yeah, I know. You wonder something inspired that. I admire Irma Delaney. It's a really strange. Yeah. 16 hours and 40 at Shannon's Yeah. 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 Very effective. What else is in this book? Well, you've got no training. I mean, his sentiment is such a title, and then this one has a great Yeah, I thought it was called Cold Quarter. And it's not. It was Ivy. Well, thank you, Joe. Great request. That's just a beautiful song. piano when he died, oh. the, the, the song. Oh. And then on the way to the one of many funeral memorial services for George Gershwin, Ira Gershwin wrote this in the back of the limo. Oh. He wrote, he took the music wow. off the piano. Then he wrote That's the lyrics. That's how the saying goes, yeah. But he was doing it because it was such a ridiculous um, uh, thing with with uh, George's funeral that yeah. every state wanted to have one for him. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. yeah. And so he wrote this, isn't it crazy? Imagine this it. in the world and all its papers and how it all began when we were just a couple of kids. But the uh, nothing yeah. seems to be lasting. That is in our affair. Oh, yeah, I know it was the last song that they wrote. Yeah. Um, but that was they, one they, they, they still wrote it together, the music even before. Even yeah, we were sitting on his piano George. when he was taken away oh. to the hospital. Hmm. Yes. Last time. Last dance. Yeah. It's a beautiful song. What a what a. So he wrote figures. the lyrics to go with it, and it just goes so well. And yeah. the Rockies may crumble. Yeah. Remember the song. I remember my parents singing the song. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mary, that necklace. Match is so pretty. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Joe Fung, the sales of I got this necklace of Ambeds because the previous customer had left it lying on the counter and the woman goes, Is this yours? <laughs> Something about it. I looked at it and go, Yeah. <laughs> I said, Did somebody not buy it? Uh, yeah, I'll take it. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. I think it was covered. Good night, Joe. Thanks for, thanks for doing our walk on. Good night, Joe. Mary, move on. Good night, John Boy. Good night, Tom. Good night, Elizabeth. The more I read the papers, oh, 
Buffalo News. As I comprehend, the world and all its capers, and how it all will end. Nothing seems to be lasting. That isn't our affair. We've got something poignant. Solo, Dave. Honest to God, 
time my tap shoes were in the car. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> Peter Allen. <laughs>
We wanted it all. We wanted it all. Passion without pain. Sunshine without rainy days. We wanted it always. You and me. We reached for the sky. The limit was high. Never giving in. I should have seen it in your eyes. Look, look how our dreams came true. See how I've got me, baby, you've got you. Through it all, just one thing died. A little thing called love. Something deep inside You and me We weren't like the rest We once were the best Back when we were dumb How did we become So smart And learn to break each other's heart Look Look how our dreams came true See how I've got me And baby you've got you Through it all just one thing died A little thing called love Something deep inside You and me We weren't like the rest We once were the best Look what we've become Isn't it a crime shame That we almost wanted it all Baby, you and me We wanted it all Peter Allen to see Pete's Garage out there with us. Oh, Pete's Garage is out yeah, there. Yeah, he's, he's often on this side of the camera, Lounge Academy. Hi, Pete. Pete, how do you like the split screen? She <laughs> said...
Good night, McNeil. Thank you very much. So McNeil's walking around and she's petting the dog goodbye, Rosie, the show business dog. And they very gracefully back toward the door as Mary. A little play by play here. Stick around, Mary Kate, don't you? I'm not going to let you leave yet. This is the way a showbiz couple in the room, ladies and gentlemen. Take notes. He's leaving with some platter that he didn't bring. I was the only one selling drinks there. It was fun. I'm sentimental, so I walk in the rain. I've got some habits, even I. Explain. Could start for the corner, turn up in Spain. Why try to change me now? I'll sit and daydream. I've got daydreams galore. Cigarette ashes, there they go on the floor. I'll go away weekends, leave my keys in the door. Why try to change me now? Why can't I be more conventional? People talk, people stare, so I try. But that's not for me, cause I can't see my kind of crazy world go passing me by. So let people wonder. If a circus hit town You know I love you Till the moon's upside down Don't you remember I was always your clown Why try to change me? Why try to change me? Why try to change me now? There's a second feeling to another song. Not that don't get around much anymore, but... Yeah, it's actually a little bit like Don't Get Around Much Anymore. Yeah, but another, it was song, another one more, even more yeah. specific.
opinion, said Harold Ireland. Oh, well, I could understand that though. Harold Ireland was really yeah. good. He was just got that bluesy. We yeah. talked about this yeah, before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that bluesy nature in his music. But it was like he because he he was the he very was the there's a very funny story about um, Harold Darling driving in New York City, and he's in with this cabbie, and he gets in the back seat, of course, and uh, the cabbie's humming uh, somewhere from the rainbow. Oh. And he said, and he goes, hey, what are you what are you humming? Harold Darling says to him, I don't know some song, uh, the rainbow. He said, you know who wrote that song? Yes, yeah. Gershwin. Oh! He said, oh my no, God. it really wasn't Gershwin. And the cabbie sings a little more. He goes, Cole Porter. Nope, it wasn't Cole Porter. Oh, man. And he said, well, who was it then? He said, I wrote that song. <laughs> he said, who are you? He said, Harold Ireland. He goes, yeah, but who are you? <laughs> <laughs> who are you? Really? Yeah, who are you? <laughs> Harold Ireland. <laughs> These songs were so good, they touch your heart. There's something about them in the, over the, in the um, Wizard of Oz, all the songs in the Wizard of Oz get people. I mean, there's a reason that's such a cult movie. Yeah. It's the songs, I think. I just it's... watched it the other day with three little girls. Oh my god. Little, like three of them under oh, you... five. Oh man, and, what a experience. And they were like, and I'd forgotten a few things about it, even though I've seen it as many times as I've seen anyway. tired of you when 
Stars grow tired of gleaming When I am tired of dreaming Then I'll be tired This I know is true When winds grow tired of blowing Grass is tired of growing Then I'll be tired of you Till wrong is right, till the birds refuse to sing. Beyond the years, the echo of my only love will still be whispering. Whispering. If my throbbing heart should ever start repeating that it is tired of beating, then I'll be tired. Beyond the years, from natal night till wrong is right, and the birds refuse to sing. Beyond the years, the echo of, of my only love will keep on whispering. If my throbbing heart should ever start repeating, that it is tired of beating, then I'll be tired. Arthur Schwartz and Schwartz and Schwartz. it's not Dietz and Schwartz, oh. it's Schwartz and Harburg. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Harburg. I don't know. I, I learned it from the Dudley Moore show. Janice. Oh, Kathy's now Kathy Moses is watching from home. Oh, 
Thanks, Janice. When I first, like a lot of us, the first time we saw You're a great audience. Appreciate that. Well, he did a very funny British show. Let me know if there's anything you'd like to hear from Janice. They all laughed at Christopher Columbus when he said the world was round. Graceful beginning. That always seemed very graceful to me. They all laughed at Edison recorded sound. When they said that man could fly, they said Marconi is wireless, was phony. It's the same old cry. They laughed at me, me wanting you. I was reaching for the moon. Oh, you came through. Now they have to change their tune. They all said we never could be happy. They all laughed at us and how. That last laugh now.
soon The only nights will be ended soon Two hearts says one will be blended I found the happiness I've waited for Let's make this day come soon. Let's make this day come soon. There was a funny story about um, Rogers and Hart. Uh, they were doing a, a, one of those cocktail parties where they were trying to get backers for their songs and their shows. Oh, I can't imagine how and they do that. this one particular party, as this legend goes, uh, Peggy Lee was singing. Oh. And she was just an up and coming young uh, artist. And she sang the Lover When I'm Near You. And she did it in her bum, bum, bum. Lover when I'm near you, when I'm near you. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And after it was all over, she just kept staring because Richard Rogers, I mean, um, Lorenz Hart was sitting right there, and Richard Hart Rogers was sitting right there in front of her. And after it was over, the, the room started going into the party, and Richard Rogers was still sitting in his seat. And he said to her, it's a waltz, you know. <laughs> oh, 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 man. So she didn't know the beat right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, funny. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. So that when Peggy had a look. Oh man. <laughs> Your waltz. Uh, I, I love their waltzes. You know, I love jazz waltzes and um, Jonas waltzes like that. I used to kind of collect them. You know, I just try to play them on the piano and stuff. Yeah, and that is a waltz. No, yeah. Da, 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 da. We're here at the. There's a real glamour to those. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. No, no, no. That's a waltz. Who oh, no. <laughs> oh, That's so funny. With Mary Kate O'Connell and Mary Gunsel. You know, Holden. another Rod, or Rod, this is a Rogers Holden. Hammerstein story, but I was at, I go to St. Anthony's around the block downtown, oh, and we did a Latin oh, mass with me. I'm a kind of half assed lawyer. Is it 10 30 on Sunday? It's 9 o'clock on Sunday morning early, but you know, it, the choir is kind of half assed. But anyway, we were rehearsing for, it was deep in Holy Week, very solid location. I can't remember what day it was, but it started out, we were rehearsing a couple minutes before you. And I stopped the choir. Guys, this is the this is the chant that opens the sound of music. <laughs> when the curtain goes up, and they all looked at me like, "What?" Like, what's the I was the only one who cared. And, you know, but it, it was the exact choir. And I've, I've read that Rogers they did research to get the exact chant to get a, a genuine chant. And it made me feel good anyhow. 
You know, it's like knowing who they were. Well, and, yeah, it's your and, heritage. You why know, did, you've why got did to reach Rogers out and Park break it. up? You know, how did that all happen? And Rogers and Hammerstein. I know, I got this, this whole America. I, was, I wonder how this must have felt to people back when we were talking about Kiss Me Kate and stuff in the 50s when this came out in Europe and stuff. Uh -huh. and this is a whole new art form. Well, you also America think that, 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 the, um, that the Broadway show really did reflect the you know, it was the sign of the times way before hair and way, be, way before any of that. I mean, you had um, Call Me Madam. Right, and, Donald O'Connor. Yeah, and yeah. That, um, Ethel Merman was portraying yes. Pearl Mesta, who was the dealer of I was just politics, watching that recently. I was watching some of that. Politics yeah. in, in the time. And she was, you know, friends with Harry Truman and, and she yeah. tried to make deals happen. So, you know, instead of the terrifying Chinese issues that we have going on, or Moscow, sure, or yeah. communists, or mm -hmm. Russia, it, it, it was home, homegrown how to crack the deal in, in uh, Liechtenstein or wherever they were. Yeah. Yeah, that was that funny country or whatever they were. Yeah, Liechtenstein, yeah, I think. Isn't it a lovely day? Those yeah. Are yeah. Songs from Mark that. Weber I was watching some of that. I love Mark Weber. We were talking before too about how this evolved. That I, I love Showboat because it's kind of half operetta to me. It's sort of on the line where you oh, they make movie. Kind of almost it almost could be Victor Herbert, it's but current. it wasn't. It's so current. Yeah. I mean, it's all, you I know. know. I know. It's just so beautiful, kind of an earlier time, and then you see it kind of my grandfather's time yeah. merging with the and then it gets more modern. It has a current died sad and feeling that he was not oh, as good as he could have been. Gosh, it was wonderful. Those songs he wrote were just beautiful. One of the most perfect songs on the planet, all the things you are. Oh, isn't that beautiful? That's true. When I was a kid, 
and I had to be, I was very interested from when I was real little in the lives of the great composers. And I always was. I loved reading about Mozart and Beethoven. And my mom got me a book from the library and stuff. It was cool. It had Mozart and Beethoven. But it went onward through Jerome Kern. And now that was neat, and I remember reading about Jerome Kern. I thought it was great of that book to include that, too. So if you're into this, yeah, you want to know. And, and I did. And at first I thought I didn't really care who this Jerome Kern was, but then I got into it. I book. see Mark and Joe. You've read the rest of it nice twice, and then you go forward. Oh, okay, I'm going to read about Jerome Kern. What's the difference? Would have had Oscars and Hamilton? No, I don't think so. No. I mean, he bridged that kind of. It was between them. Old and the new. Here he was kind Mary of. Miller's a beautiful showboat. It's such a beautiful showboat. I mean, just so much of the time that it was, yeah. it was of the era. The yeah. Janice is out there. Get lost. This one we haven't done in a long time. Lost in each other's arms. <laughs> Let's get lost. Let them send out alarms. And though they'll think us. Rather rude. Let's tell the world we're in that crazy mood. Let's defrost, Let's defrost. <laughs> like defrost. in a romantic mist. Let's get crossed. Makes sense. Off everybody's list. Celebrate this night we found each other. Let's get lost. Let's get lost. What's it from? I don't know. I heard it on a. On a uh, what's his name? Is really that one? Really, you know it. Who wrote it? You know. Yeah, I don't know. Who wrote this? Let's get lost. I'll have to look it up because I forget. I'm here for you. 
Let's get lost, lost in each other's arms. Let's get lost, let them send out alarms. And though they'll think it's rather rude, let's tell the world we're in that crazy Let's defrost in a romantic mist. Let's get crossed off everybody's list to celebrate this night. We found each other. Nice to see you, Bruce Reifenberg. Yeah, Mark Weber's going to do a cameo appearance. Is it 1988? Is it that one? I don't think so. I think it's old. I don't know. That's pretty new. I don't think it was 88. Oh, Frank Lesser. Oh, oh, it's Frank Lesser. Discover what chemical forces flow from lover to lover. How little we understand what touches off that tingle, that sudden explosion when two tingles and a Thanks, Bruce. That's a new new thing for tonight. Have you met Miss Jones? Someone said as we shook hands. She was just Miss Jones to me. Then I said, Miss Jones, you're a girl who understands. I'm a man who must be free. And all at once I lost my breath. All at once was scared to death. All at once I owned the earth and I owned the sky. I've met Miss Jones And we'll keep on meeting Till we die Miss Jones And
I met Miss Joe. And we'll keep on meeting till we die. Miss Jones and I. I can't give no, you uh, yeah. anything oh, but love. How was she that night before she was Baby. Awesome. Oh, I feel bad that you. That she. That, that, That's the I feel only bad that thing. She went that you went through that. Like because honey, it's hard love my baby. To see like Dream a while, scheme a while. We're sure to find happiness, and I'll guess. All those things you've always pined for. Gee, I'd like to see you looking swell. My baby, diamond bracelets, Woolworth doesn't sell. My baby, till that lucky day, you know darn well. Well, baby, I can't give you anything but Kate know her songs or what? It's like talking it's to Jocko. It's amazing. I love the uh, I love the background on them. I love that sort of sort of thing. But you're awesome. We have to bring Jocko here to have him see the. I was wondering if he's going to get something. We'll have to talk to Dave and see. Yeah, let's see what shape he's in. Yeah, he's doing well from what I understand. It looks really about to have. He's about to have like a reunion at his club. Well, that would be you know. Yeah, his old Jocko's. Right up the street. No, the one. Oh, the one the in. Oh, the one. Yeah, yeah. Diane English would come out of this, oh, wow. the kitchen singing Phantom of the Opera. This is it was it was awesome. It was just as oh, kitsch as you could get, and everybody loved it. Oh. We all loved it. I loved it. But thank you, Howard. Well, we can use you as powerful bass. Okay. <laughs> There she goes, ladies and gentlemen.
Maria's clapping. Ladies and gentlemen, at the the After Lounge Academy. Oh, there's there we are we're over there. All right. Well, this looks like a good time to end the telecast. It was. Thanks for joining us at Lounge Academy as this was, what was this, live, live week, was it five or six tonight? I think five. I'm not sure. I think it might be six. Maybe it's six. It might be our, our sixth live stream from it Lounge was Academy. It really nice night. It was very nice. Mary Kate O'Connell, what a great guest. It's really fun to talk songs with her. She knows everything about songs and songwriters. She does. And she really has a love for it. And not, not just, you know, because you know, she listened to a lot of records, like she's just, performed she a lot it. of them. Yeah. As have many of our other Lounge Academy cadets. Great group of people tonight. Yeah, really just
both here and in the home really audience. I really enjoyed these yeah, last hour or so, sitting and talking music with her. And then that sweet dog she has. Yeah, the dog is Rosie no problem at all. Little. I mean, we have guests that are more trouble than that dog. <laughs> So, um, here, look, look at this comment over here. It's pretty funny. Oh. <laughs> it's funny. It's just a lot of fun tonight. It was a nice, nice evening. And now, gee, it got, we, we went Small pretty late. but a passionate group. People we went pretty, it must be music. close to, uh, at four hours, Facebook. Yeah, we're about eight minutes away from Facebook throwing us off. At four, mm -hmm. We learned uh, once before that when four hours hits, all of a sudden <laughs> the live stream ends uh, without, any, uh, without any warning. Yeah, <laughs> the live stream ends. Yeah, it's just very, very nice. Right, lots of nice music. All right, well, what do you say? We do it again well, next week, nice Mary. We'll do it next week. I think we should do it next week for sure. Next Friday night, we'll kick the cameras on around 7 o'clock. Uh -huh. You guys can just hang out on a lounge with us around the piano. We visit the era of the great songs, when songs were songs. They were, that was the era of the great songs. When songwriters were songwriters. We must have played hundreds of songs tonight. We really did. Dozens of them anyway. People were really requesting good stuff. They know their, th you know, they know their music. And the names of Warren McCall and Ira Gershwin and Hoagie Carmichael were spoken. They were. And other names. And their names were spoken too. Sigmund Rundberg. Here at Lounge Academy. You just heard me. And the Dirty Dishes. Which we're gonna do now. <laughs> we never go home with the dishes dirty. Exactly. The dishes That's a secret to a good marriage, everybody. <laughs> do the dishes before you go to bed after Don't the party. Keep lounging until next week, everybody. And don't make any plans. That way you can hang out with us. That's right. Come hang out with us next week. <laughs> Good night. I will now end the telecast. My finger has the power right here. <laughs> oh, I hate to see to the press, telecast end. To press this button. Me too. But Facebook's going to kick us off in a few minutes anyway. Here we go. Good night, Facebook. Watch this. Three, two, one.